We're building our own uh, battery cells. Uh, we, th we think the most advanced uh, cell in the world here at Giga Texas. And uh, we think over time this will probably be the, the biggest uh, cell factory in the world. You know that feeling? That every battery in every electric car on the road today is basically a chemical version of a ticking clock? Every single time you plug it in, you are slowly, irreversibly wearing that thing out. But what if I told you that social media platforms are currently blowing up with news about a new kind of battery that actually gets stronger every time you use it? A battery, they claim, can charge in just five minutes, last for over a century, and is made from one of the cheapest, most common materials on Earth. I know, that sounds impossible, right? Like something straight out of science fiction. But the buzz says it's real. It's been hiding behind the sealed doors of a secret lab in Austin, Texas. The rumor is, this thing is about to change the game forever. What is this mysterious new tech? How did Tesla allegedly pull off what no one else could? And what does this mean for the future of cars, energy, and the entire world? That's exactly what we're gonna answer in today's deep dive, clearly and completely. For more than a decade, the electric car race was all about one thing, lithium. This metal was the undisputed heart of the industry, powering everything from luxury sedans to budget EVs. But for all its power, Lithium always came with some serious baggage. Engineers knew its weaknesses well. Slow charging, that gradual capacity loss, and the ever-present risk of thermal runaway. The smartest minds tried to patch these flaws with slightly faster chargers, with advanced cooling systems, and new cell designs. But honestly, the gains were always, well, incremental. It was a slow, difficult grind. A few extra miles of range here, a couple of minutes shaved off a charge there. The conversation just became a cycle of managing limitations instead of totally breaking past them. While headlines celebrated each tiny little improvement, the core problems never went away. Lithium was still expensive, still hard to source, and still vulnerable to the crazy politics of global supply chains. And as everyone else focused on squeezing more life out of the same old chemistry, reports suggested that Tesla quietly stepped away from the crowd, preparing to end the game entirely. The whispers say it all started with a simple question inside Tesla's Austin lab. Why keep fighting lithium's weaknesses when another path was right there, untouched? A small team allegedly began experimenting with aluminum, a metal most battery researchers had dismissed for decades. It's cheap, it's abundant, and it's incredibly conductive. But it had that fatal flaw, that thing they call ion lock. The aluminum ions could hold energy, but they just couldn't release it fast enough for real-world use. But the claim is, Tesla found a way. Platforms have been talking about their development of a proprietary carbon graphene substrate laced with atomic scale induction points. This wasn't just a new material, it was a completely new way of thinking. This stuff didn't just allow aluminum ions to move, it supposedly let them fly. The moment that worked, everything changed. Allegedly, Tesla had unlocked a material that could move energy almost instantly without overheating, without degrading, and without the fragile supply chains that have haunted the EV industry from day one. The breakthrough, they say, wasn't just in the chemistry, it was in how the power was delivered. Tesla supposedly called it quantum burst control, or QBC. Instead of pushing energy out in a steady, limited flow like traditional batteries, QBC allegedly shaped and released it in precise, high-speed pulses. The effect was instant torque with zero lag. It's like the battery could read the driver's foot before it even moved. The lab tests, according to the buzz, produced numbers that didn't even seem real. 7,000 watts per kilogram, that's more than five times the output of Tesla's current 4680 lithium-ion cells. And get this, the more the battery heated up, the better it allegedly performed. Where lithium cells risk a meltdown past 40 degrees, they claim the aluminum ions hit their stride at 85 degrees, delivering stable, repeatable power without cooling systems straining in the background. Tesla supposedly didn't just slot this new battery into an existing car. They allegedly built an entirely new machine around it.
Internally, the project was called Redwood. Publicly, it would become the Model 2, a compact EV with specs that sound like pure sci-fi, a starting price allegedly under $16,000, a range of 550 miles on a single charge, and a full recharge in just five minutes. The aluminum ion battery allegedly ripped that limit apart. In a closed door demonstration for investors, engineers supposedly rolled out a plain black Model 2, plugged it into a standard supercharger, and started the clock. Five minutes later, it was at 80% capacity. No exotic cables, no special infrastructure, just the new chemistry and a re-engineered interface built to handle that surge. Most batteries start dying the day they're made. Every full charge and discharge cycle shaves a little bit off their capacity until eventually they just can't hold enough to be useful. But the rumors suggest Tesla's aluminum ion battery flipped that whole reality on its head. Each cycle supposedly didn't wear it down, it strengthened it. In testing, even after 500,000 full cycles, the battery still delivered 100% of its original performance. That's more than a century of daily use without fading. Fast charging, range, battery life, and cost, the four main pillars that once held EVs back have all supposedly fallen at once. Now that we've laid out everything that's being said across social media platforms, do you honestly believe this alleged technology can truly change the world? Drop your take in the comments section below. Listen up, people. Seriously, after all this hype and after all these numbers we just read, 7,000 watts per kilogram, five minutes to charge, half a million cycles, we got to hit the brakes for a minute and put things in perspective. Let's be real with each other. When I see these kinds of numbers, and when I see the sheer volume of these claims flying around on YouTube and every other tech platform, my brain splits right down the middle. The first half is hyped out of its mind. This half sees Elon Musk's vision finally coming true. If this tech is real, if an aluminum ion battery can actually deliver 550 miles for just 16 grand in a Model 2, this isn't just a new car. It is the end of the oil age as we know it. This isn't a jump, it's a quantum leap that puts Tesla somewhere no other car company can reach for decades. I mean, think about it. A car where you don't worry about range or degradation. A battery that outlives the car itself. Honestly, this part of my brain desperately wants to believe every single word. But then there's the second half, and this is the half that has to stay professional and objective. This half reminds me of the Tech Hype database. In the battery world, we've been promised so much. Sodium ion, fluoride ion, solid state batteries for years now. Every new tech comes with these wild laboratory numbers, but the gap between a successful test in a small secret lab and commercial mass production on a gigafactory scale, that is a monumental gap. It requires brand new supply chains, quality standards that haven't been tested on millions of cells, and the ability to hold up under brutal everyday driving, not just in a sterile test room. And most important of all, if Tesla really did achieve this historic breakthrough, which would be the most important energy invention in decades, why hasn't the company officially announced it with pride? That is not the Tesla or the Elon Musk style. A $16,000 Model 2 is news that should shut down global traffic, not just float around in unconfirmed YouTube rumors. The lack of official confirmation puts a giant question mark right over this entire story. So, my honest take for you, the audience, is this technology is super promising. The research into aluminum ion batteries is real, and fast charging and long life are achievable future goals. But attaching these specific unbelievable numbers to a future product like the Model 2 right now is most likely media exaggeration and hype designed to generate clicks. Tesla is getting closer to a cheaper car, yes, and Tesla is working on better battery tech, absolutely. But jumping straight to the aluminum ion battery that lasts a century is something we should treat with a major dose of skepticism until we see undeniable official proof from the company. We won't believe it until we see it manufactured and driving on the road with our own eyes. And now that we've laid out everything that's being said and shared a dose of reality, do you still believe this alleged technology is truly capable of changing the world? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments.